Hey there, what's going yeah. on? It's Lisa with Mackenzie. I got my partner in crime today. And you're in for a treat. Um, literally, we're making strawberry sorbet. Alright, um, this might look familiar. I did a video this morning on what to do with some, uh, some fruit you need to use up. And um, so this is some frozen strawberries. Alright, um, sorbet and ice cream is very easy to make. You don't need many ingredients. You don't need... Um, fancy equipment. Um, I'm going to show you how simple it is. And I normally, when I make it, I make just enough that we can eat, um, you know, right now. So, because uh, you'll notice that a lot of times uh, what makes um, ice cream, it, the right, the consistency it is, that you can stick a spoon and eat right out of the freezer or sorbet, well, that is because sugar does not freeze. So, that tells you how much sugar is in... Um, ice cream and sorbet and whatnot. But we're going to make a healthier version and we're obviously using real fruit. Um, this is a raw vegan, doesn't have any dairy. And uh, as you can see, Mackenzie's uh, chomping away at these strawberries that are frozen. A um, very, very healthy uh, snack here. So we're going to make the ice cream. We've got, um, we're making enough for probably two people. Um, I've got about two cups of strawberries that are, are frozen. I've got the juice of half a lemon, and then I'm going to add in two tablespoons of raw honey. And you could just make this with just the strawberries alone. Frozen like strawberries um, parade up will make frozen sorbet, strawberry sorbet. Um, I like to add a little bit of the lemon juice because acidity helps to kind of wake up flavors. Um, if you ever notice when you squeeze a little fresh lemon or lime, some citrus over something, it just kind of brings out the flavor and just kind of just gives you, makes it something a little special. Um, and then, you know, the honey's optional. If your strawberries are really sweet and you don't mind a little tart, um, don't add the honey. But um, we like it sweet around here, so I'm going to add the honey since it is dessert, right? So, we're just going to put everything in the food processor. I sometimes, when I'm... Go ahead, Mackenzie. Mackenzie, I'll put it all in. I sometimes, um, when I'm making ice cream or sorbet... Don't lick it, honey. <laughs> Good thing this is just for us. Put it all in there. Um, we'll leave the fruit on the counter for, like, just maybe two to five minutes. Just to defrost it just a tad. Um, sometimes if you add the fruit directly into the food processor. It's no big deal, but don't be alarmed. The food processor might start um, just shaking very vigorously trying to bray that frozen fruit, but um, it'll be okay. I haven't had any accidents with that. Oh, okay. I'll get that later. So I just let these sit on the counter for like a couple of minutes. Uh-oh, get it in there, baby. This one fell in the chair. Okay, last few. There we go. Yeah. All right, we're going to put the lemon juice in there. I like honey. You like honey, baby? Okay. Let me put it in, and then you can lick the spoon, okay? So I'm going to put uh, two tablespoons yeah. of honey. Uh, uh, um, Hold on, I'll let you put the last one in, okay? I like All right. honey. Yeah, two <laughs> tablespoons. And this is a big spoon, but um, so this would be like more honey. than a tablespoon. I filled it up, but it's just a tablespoon. I like honey. All right, baby. You want to, here, you have a little bit. Mm -mm -mm. If you haven't tried raw honey, it is so much better than that pasteurized stuff. The flavor, everything. So, let me get my lid here, and watch the magic, guys. Strawberry sorbet. Two seconds. Turn it off, let it, we'll pulse it a little bit, let me get a spatula here. And if you didn't finish all this, if you wanted to do a larger batch, you could, um, you could put it in the freezer, just uh, pull it out um, and let it sit on the counter for a minute or two, just to soften a little bit. Alright baby, gonna pulse it up a little, a little longer. Yummy. In 
feel free to use any flavor you like. I had some strawberries in the freezer, but um, you can make pineapple sorbet, mango sorbet, you can mix it up. This is looking good. You can leave it uh, a little chunky if you want some pieces of strawberry in there. I think just one more second, bear with me, I'm going to show you this homemade strawberry sorbet. I mean, this is all natural, organic. It costs us practically nothing to make, to be honest. So make it yourself, guys. This is how easy it is. Make it food. Yeah. <laughs> Mama. All right. Can we show them how the um, sorbet looks? Yeah. Strawberry sorbet? All right. Cool. Yeah, I know. And every time I ask Mackenzie if she wants to make sorbet or ice cream, she's so excited. And look what she's eating. Look what you're eating. It is a treat. Um, yeah, a whole serving of fruit. That mine. I mean, look at the consistency of this guy. Uh -huh. Look at that. And this is delicious. I like. Yeah. Let me show him. Let me show him a little spoonful. Look at this. Frozen. Perfect. Let's have a taste. You want to taste it too? Mm. All I gotta say is that is the bomb, and um, I make this all the time. Very healthy dessert, and um, that's it. Mackenzie, you wanna tell everybody eat happy foods? Yeah, happy foods. Eat happy foods. It's good, Mackenzie. Look in there. Tell everybody how it is. How's the sorbet? Strawberry sorbet. Is it delicious? Mmm. Mm. Means yes. All right, guys, been watching Raw Food for Kids. It's Lisa with McKenzie. We're going to enjoy our sorbet. Subscribe to these videos and uh, stay tuned for more. Take care.